Hey, this is Hamza from the Drivers Hub, and you might have seen me before on this channel. And today we are here to talk about the R18. Mind you, if you are here for the first time, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps us. Getting on with the R18. On 3rd April, BMW launched the R18, which is a cruiser and a through and through bagger. But to understand the R18, we have to first understand the first cruiser that was launched by BMW in the cruiser segment which was called the R1200C and it also had a little brother called the 850C. The R1200C was produced from 1997 to 2004. It uh, looked questionable but for a manufacturer like BMW to dip its water into the cruiser market which was an all American market mind you, it was a very big step and the bike looked different but it did it did look nice to most people it had a two cylinder boxer which made 61 horsepower and 98 nm of torque which was way more than any other brand was offering at that point of time in engine performance and reliability i don't think there was a better bike than the r1200c in the cruiser segment from its inception the r1200c featured a passenger seat that could fold up to become a driver's backrest I mean, this is a bike from 1997 <laughs> and BMW had that kind of technology in it. It was three-way adjustable and could be adjusted while you were riding. That's really cool. It was also featured in the James Bond movie Tomorrow Never Dies and it must have sold a ton, right? I mean, like it wasn't a James Bond movie. What better advertising could you need? But actually, no, the bike was an utter failure. Nobody cared about it and I'm pretty sure you never heard about it before this. But I'm happy to report the BMW R18 is far from its predecessor and it looks, engine and chassis standards. The R18 even has custom parts by Roland Sands Designs RSD. If you don't know them, I would urge you to go and check them out. Just give them a Google, they're one of the best design houses ever to live. And the parts from RSD will be sold separately but I really think they're worth checking out. You can also configure your perfect spec on the BMW Motorrad website. Now, the R18 makes a humble 97 horsepower and 150 nm of torque, and everyone likes to believe that cruisers don't need much power, which is the biggest myth in the world. A cruiser is heavier than a normal commuter or sports bike. You need power. A cruiser needs power, and I think the R18 has perfect it's got 158 nm of torque it will propel you to like the moon <laughs> i don't know but it's perfect because i have experienced these uh, boxer engines on the r90 i was very fortunate i'm very lucky that i got to ride one and it's just out of this world the sheer character that that engine offers there's nothing like it on the market and i think uh, BMW has a very good chance because most of the people from America who are into Harleys are looking elsewhere, are dipping their feet in Euro brands now. That's the reason the Ducati, Multi and the Hyper are selling so much. But once uh, this goes away, the R18 is here to make a stand definitely and I think it should do well. Please drop a like if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Please let me know what you think about the R18. Was this the right move from BMW at this time? Or should they have waited a little more for Harley Davidson to finish their new set of lineup? I would love to know. This is Hamza. I'll see you next time.